God's sake, stupid gears, god damn. Uh, my gears just aren't working and it's actually starting to ruin my ride, but you shouldn't let it ruin your ride because it's actually pretty simple to adjust. So in this video, we're gonna to explain to you how you can adjust your gears during your ride. There are a number of different reasons why your gears might not be working correctly. You could have a bent mech hanger or other components could be worn or damaged. Now let's assume it's only minor adjustments that you're gonna to need to do, otherwise you're probably not gonna have the tools and equipment that you'll need to fix your bike at the roadside. Chances are, if you're riding along and you're finding that your gears are ticking and clicking and making quite an annoying noise, you're only really gonna to need to look to adjust the indexing. The indexing of the gears is actually adjusted using this small barrel adjuster at the back here. And it's quite simply a process of turning it clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on which we need to do to adjust the gears. If you need to make any indexing adjustments to the front derailleur, that's adjusted using the barrel adjuster in line on the cables at the front. Most bikes will have these. Before you make any adjustments, you're gonna to need to decide which way you've gotta turn the barrel adjuster. Now, if your gears aren't shifting up into an easier gear, you're gonna to have to turn the barrel adjuster anti-clockwise. This will add some cable tension and enable the derailleur to move up into an easier gear. If your gears aren't shifting down into a harder gear, then you're gonna to have to remove some cable tension using the barrel adjuster and turning it clockwise. That will enable the rear derailleur to move down into the easier gears you're gonna to have to adjust either way around and a little bit of trial and error will sort that out. Now I'd advise only making minor adjustments to the barrel adjuster before rechecking your bike. I'd suggest maybe half a turn or so at a time. Another handy tip is you can always pick the bike up, hook the saddle over the back of your neck and then pedal and check the gears like so. Then we can just check to see if our little adjustments have had the desired outcome, which nearly so. This is not quite right, so I've probably got one half turn left to go, and then I think that'll get the gears operating nice and crisp. The same principles apply here at the front barrel adjuster, just the same as the back. Make small adjustments at a time, and then you can go and ride the bike to recheck it, or as I did earlier, hook it over your neck and pedal while staying in the same place. It's important to only make small adjustments at a time and not get too carried away. Best of all, these principles are gonna work across Shimano, SRAM and Campagnolo group sets, so you'll be covered whatever's on your bike. Some people might be tempted to adjust the limit screws whilst out on the road, but it's probably best not doing that, wait until you're at home. You don't wanna run the risk of your rear mech going into your wheel, and then it's gonna be a taxi ride home. So there you have it, how to adjust your gears whilst out on the bike meaning that you can ensure everyone on your group ride has got perfectly working gears too and with any luck they'll buy you a coffee. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have please do give it a big thumbs up and if you've got any questions as always let us know in the comments section down below. Anyway I'm off to enjoy the rest of my ride with my perfectly working gears. See you later.